it's Corinne again and today I'm doing my get ready for me with me for a night out makeup tutorial um yeah first thing I'm going to grip my hair back because I worry that it's gonna kind of get in the way which does mean gripping these bits here back so you can see my lovely ears okay one Okay. Oh, and this side wanting to come back down. Right. Okay. First day will be my foundation. I today I brought a couple of beauty blenders to try and test it out and um, with my foundation to see if it helps or works better on my skin. Which is a normal beauty blender. You, the usual Astor in SP20, which is the ivory, as I do have a yellow tinge to my skin. Okay, just dab it all over first with my finger. I do wear a bit, I mean, I don't wear too much foundation, but I do wear a, a lot more eye makeup, and I do have eyelashes with me today. Um, as I am going out later and I thought I'd do this look while I'm getting ready so do a beauty blender blend it well into my skin the light is so much better in this video I will be using a different camera um, in a couple of days as it's going to work better on my my skin I mean on my face and what it looks like on video that's because I'm just looking at my skin in the mirror <laughs> okay there it is um, I pat it in more than swipe it because I find that swiping does like kind of make it quite um patchy and a bit all over the place yeah, so I've got the other side now. Okay. Okay. Put a bit more foundation on my forehead. Forehead on my cheek. My other cheek, oh, stabs it on my face, fuck it. Oh, swearing, no, 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 no. Shouldn't be swearing. Okay, the first thing to do now it will be my contour, which I'm using my usual contour sticks, which are here in my lap. Um, I have the, I have the, the white, which will go on my eye right up under my eye and you know seven because I've recently found that that helps uh, for a less cakey look put your face and put it as a seven and then kind of swoop it around with your fingers actually let me try with the beauty blender oh yeah I've got the other one here I've got another one and then I'm going to kind of pat, pat that across down with the other side. Do like a bit of a swoopy coverage. Oh my gosh, wrong colour. Ah, what was that for, Corinne? What was that for? We get my wipes. I've got my wipes. Oh, I didn't even show my wipes. These are PS Love the Skin from Primark. And I can't believe I've just swooped a dark shade across my cheek. Trying to put more foundation over that one. Back on my hand. I use the end of this one. What if I did that? I can't believe that. <laughs> right, where was I? I had to put the white back on again. So I've just kind of got rid of quite a bit of it on my skin. Okay, under eyes, down my nose as usual, up, 
kind of like that in and we'll keep it so okay blend this in pat it in more like you can kind of like sweep with this a bit more because it's obviously um colour stick so it kind of can move a lot better than the powder the powder kind of just powders off your face um God, it's already been five minutes already um okay and now my contour stick the one that i should have shouldn't have put on my face earlier um look in the mirror because i always find it's easy in the mirror i'm going to do half my face so you can kind of see what it looks like with half compared to when i only do Before I do both and blend that in. Okay, I'll use my usual brush for this. The usual, if I can find it. Just about two seconds. Where are you, brush? Where are you? Hmm. Okay, I'm probably going. Oh, it found it. Found it. I have it. Okay, and push that in. Sweep it round as I usually do. And my cheekbone. That's quite good. And my chin. I don't know if this camera's too light. Oh well. Thing is, if I find it too light on my cheeks, I'll always go back over and make it slightly darker. Okay, I like the look of that. I think my camera's a bit too light this time. I'm not sure. Okay, that. And down this side. Across my end. Long brush. And my chin again. Across my trick. And across my forehead. Contour head, I call it. Okay, you can kind of see that when I've got both done. I blend my forehead into this and my nose. Right, now I've done that, I'm going to, oh I like that, I like the coverage, um, to do my eyebrows, I have a new eyebrow pencil which is Technique Brow Pencil, <laughs> in shade black, because I have black hair, I'll try and open this now, I can't open my teeth, this is quite embarrassing isn't it? spit in the paper right there's one side open oh the there's a thing to open it on the look oh it's a bit embarrassing there you go it's down and i have that kind of off now and we've been on for nearly 10 minutes and i am worried right firstly you always brush your eyebrows off it's like up and then kind of diagonal towards that and then smooth it. So with the other side. And, and as usual I'll be using my small mirror for this because I don't trust myself. Right, let's put that on there. It's my new black brow pencil. And I'm hoping this is good. Okay. Okay, this is very, um, very black. Just brush this off a bit. Oh. Oh, my eyebrows are very dark. <laughs> to kind of match my hair. Okay, it's very black compared to that one, but I think once my makeup's on, I think it'll look okay. 
you'll fight. And as usual, I'm going to brush that up. Oh, go through the eyebrow first. And then brush up towards the front. Okay, it's quite dark. Again, I'm going to just wipe by the excess. Because it's very stainy, I've just realised. Okay. End again. You don't even have to get a bit more coverage. And brush it through with my thing and my eyebrows are very black. Woohoo! Okay, this is. Oh, I like how that one's turned out. Okay, let's kind of wipe that there off. Okay, right, these are going to be my eyebrows for this video. I probably will change them later to my brown, depends how my makeup looks. So I'm going to redo this bit here. Um, because I am a bit concerned for how dark my eyebrows are. This is going to have to do. This is going to have to do, and I'll probably redo my eyebrows after, right? Um, eyeshadow, which is going to be my favourite palette, if I can find it. Yay! My nine shade eye palette from PS at um, Primark. Um, yes. So, I'm going to get my brush. my little brush. I need to really sort out my makeup before I do these videos. Let's put on. Um. Ha 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 ha. Oh no, wrong one. I have it, I have it, I have it. Okay, right. I think I've got majority of my makeup out now, so. Firstly, I'm going to put my lighter shade, around my kind of lighter shade over the lid. Okay, which is oh, the bottom white over my eyelid. And my eyebrows look very dark in this camera. And I'm doing the same on the other eye. Okay, right. Right, I'm going to use the brown shade again. Use a dark brown this time. Put my brush and into the crease I go. This is the um, the darkest brown on the palette into the corner. Kind of up. Uh, I want to go across my eyebrow eye. Okay. And the same on this side. There's always one eye that goes better than the other. I think this might be the good eye. My eyebrows need really, really. Let's 
the Avatar Miami hook. It's a blocky, blocky gap in my eyebrow. I'm gonna try and smudge. Hey, I did it! Woo! Right, as it was across the eyelid, from my darkest brown. I do recommend this makeup palette because it's my favourite, and I think it goes really well on all skin types and all skin tones. And with all different looks, it's got different shades, and I think it just works really well. Right, next will be my oh, will be my eyeliner. Yay, eyeliner! Um, I've got my usual, which is the Master Ink Matte eyeliner, and I will be using my mirror to apply this because I don't trust myself with looking at the camera. Um, yeah. as usual. I usually start with a flick, but for some reason I didn't then. Um, yeah, okay, I start with a flick. Okay. Okay. Just realised they okay a lot. A little. It's a flick because I don't want thick eye flicks today because I'm wearing my eyelashes. Oh, I like the way this turned out. Oh, it went really American then, on purpose. Okay. Okay. This will do for this video. Uh, might make them a bit thicker, but it depends on how this video goes. Right. Um, now I'm going to do my. Do I do my eyelashes first or not? Yes, I'm going to do my. Put on my eyelashes first, and then go over over after, because otherwise I'll get black fingers and it would terrible. I'm using the um, the eyelashes in Vogue. We're in Vogue, which are the Glamorize in hashtag 10. Quite furry at the ends, I think it will dramatise my eyes very well. I always use the glue with the come with these because it's really good. My also, also one of my tips is, which is what I always do, is put my stuff away, is that I um, dry these with the glue on, with the hair dryer for a little bit from a distance, and then I'll put them on because it helps dry them quicker and... I don't know, but I know I shouldn't be putting these on my fingers, but I do because I find it easier to put them on with my fingers. So I'll put these on here. Um, just cut these a little bit. Always cut the corners off um, to kind of get it to fit your eyes. You do the glue, you do the glue. Glue just the lid just pops off. And that uses like a lid to put back on. Okay, my fingers are a bit dirty, right? Put this on the ends. Ends. So it's important to get more of the glue on the ends of the eyelashes. Because that's the bits that tend to not stick for me. Let me use the hairdryer and turn it on first. Oh, drying, drying, drying. I like this look a bit. It's a really good look for me. I don't know. I'm drying my hair, my eyes too, so I'm kind of drying them a bit. Not too close, because otherwise they get really, um, like, parted and they don't really sit very well. I'm 
to try them now. Right, there's my eyelashes. And I am going to attempt to put my first eyelash on. On each corner. Always start with the outside corner because it goes on a lot better. If you start with the outside corner first. Can't really see much because it's quite there's quite a bit of blue on still on there. I'm waiting for it to dry. As I'm waiting for it to dry, I will do the other eye. Because I'm impatient. And put that off again. Okay, I've quit to length and put my glue on again on this eyelash. Make sure it's in the end. Okay, hair dryer, wherever the hair dryer is, on the on the floor, great, that's what I wanted. Oh, I need to put some mascara in, I think. It's weird not having this much makeup on for my, my eyelashes on with my hair just shoved up, I'm not done yet. Weird. What do you, I've got a point after picture going on. Right. Okay, I've dried that. And I'm going to attempt to put this on. Which you can't really see because I've got my Okay, let me get some more glue. This is I shouldn't really be doing this, but I do. Get some more glue on the on the corners to help it stick a lot better. Right, I'm going to be different and blow this in my face. From a distance, so I don't want it to burn my face and hurt me. Close your eyes, stick me hair dry right over your eyes. And I'm going to try and see if my my right eye stayed on. Yes, it has stayed on. Yay! Right, and I've got a bit of glue in my eye. Oh, great! Right, that's great. That one. This one is being a bit of a, a wobble. Right, this needs some glue at the front. And I can see that blob there. I wouldn't recommend doing this to any for anyone. Do this. Uh. Right, I'm gonna wait for that to dry and when I wait for that bit there to dry, I'm gonna do this eyelash first. I'm gonna put the mascara on. Mascara will help. You'll see my eyes look better. Um, let me get my makeup back. So I know my, yeah, my mascara is in here. In here, I can't speak today. Oh, there it is, right at the top. Okay, I have found my mascara, and I am going to be putting mascara over this eye. I'm going to see if this one's dry. Yeah. Okay, that stayed. Okay, that's a bit silly. I should put some of my skin down as well. I don't want that. Okay, and I'm going to use some mascara and put mascara on my eyes, my eyelashes, mainly try and get them on my own, I don't really want much on the, the lashes I have on because I don't want to be clumpy at the ends. And same with this one. Okay, 
put out these eyelash stick eyelashes they're very 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 good okay I might put a little bit on the on the eyelashes Okay, there's my eyelashes done, and I'm going to do my bottom ones. Things in real life, well, not real life, but once I've done this, I probably will. Do redo my foundation because I'm not going out for another couple hours or three hours or something like that. So I will be um, leaving my eye makeup because I do like it. Oh, it dropped. Um, and then kind of going over my um, my foundation and my contour again. Um, yeah.